Aussies love a big V8 and there's so much to like about the 16 litre unit lurking within this Scania R650. Let's get her out on the open road and see what she can do. Scania's new truck generation models are proving a hit, both around the globe and here in Oz. In fact, while year-to-date sales in the heavy-duty truck category are currently down on last year by nearly 5%, Scania sales are up by over 26%. To get a snapshot of the R650's appeal, we're tackling a run from Scania Laverton in Melbourne to Nil in Western Victoria, where we'll spend a night in the truck before returning to Melbourne the following morning. It's a relatively short drive we're on, 800 kilometres return from Melbourne to Nil and back, but we're loaded to around 61 tonnes, so it should give us a good idea of the truck's fuel economy. Our R650 test truck is a popular choice for B-double work, with its 16.4 litre V8 rated at 650 horsepower and 3300 newton metres. That's a little down on the R730, which produces up to 3500 newton metres, but it's important to note the R730 only delivers those extra 200 newton metres in its top two gears. The only brand to currently offer a V8 truck engine platform, Scania overhauled its V8 lineup in 2017, and the new range is said to offer improved fuel economy, a reduction in weight, and lower maintenance and repair costs. While Scania Australia still offers a range of Euro 5 trucks, our test truck is in fact a Euro 6 machine, with emissions handled purely by an SCR system, unlike the R730's mixture of SCR and EGR. The 90-degree V8 is mated to the rear axles by Scania's 12-speed OptiCruise automated manual transmission. It's a smart and smooth-shifting unit that really takes the strain out of driving, especially in metropolitan areas. Overall, it's a really comfy and quiet place to be. All the controls are right where you want them. The cockpit wraps around, everything's within easy reach. And I really like the heap of uh, driver convenience features that this Scania R650 has things like the adaptive cruise control which seems to work really well it's not overly sensitive cars can cut in if they're still moving past you it's not going to uh, overly react to that sort of situation other things like it's got a hill hold assist five stage retarder works really well brings up the vehicle very swiftly and with a heap of confidence and that's also key to uh, maintaining a good driver efficiency score this is a new R-Series normal cab, so it's bigger than the low cab but smaller than the high line and top line cabs. It's fitted with a single bunk with pocket spring mattress, which extends from a width of 800mm to 1000mm. And at the end of a day's drive when you're parked up for the night, there are far worse places you could be than in this Scania R650. This is the normal cab, sure there are bigger sleepers out there, but the bunk is comfy, it's wide, there's plenty of storage too. After overnighting in Nil, not far from the South Australian border, it was time to do it all over again and guide the big R650 back down the Western Highway to Melbourne. It might have heaps of grunt and plenty of performance, but this Scania R650 also has a heap of sophistication and healthy economy too. We've averaged 1.8 kilometres per litre over the course of this run, which seems pretty decent given the load, the terrain and the numerous roadworks we've encountered. Add in this truck's many comfort, convenience and safety features and it's easy to see why these next-gen Scanias are proving as popular as they are for operators and drivers alike.